The hybrid electric vehicle has a fault detection system for safety. There's two basic systems we'll talk about in a minute. This system monitors the vehicle ground system to determine if high voltage is leaking to the chassis. It's going to monitor both the DC and the AC high voltage circuit. It's going to monitor voltage to see if the chassis ground voltage exceeds the specific threshold voltage. The fault detection system reports to the hybrid system controller. The hybrid system controller receives information from the DC to DC converter who's monitoring itself the DC to AC inverter who's monitoring itself and the battery pack controller who's monitoring itself. Here's a drawing. What we're looking at is down here in the lower left hand corner where the big red arrow is and that's showing us that the battery pack has a ground fault detection system in it. And the white solid lines are really the orange wires on a vehicle, the high voltage circuits. And you can see they have ground fault detection systems in them. The inverter and the converter and the controller also has them. Here's a different drawing showing that yes we have ground fault isolation detection on hybrid vehicles. Now if a fault is detected and if the transmission is in park the controller will disable the two power relays on the next ignition switch or operating cycle. If a fault's detected and the vehicle's sitting there at zero miles per hour, the controller's going to disable the internal combustion engine. And if the hood is open, the controller will open the power relays and disable the internal combustion engine. And in all cases, the controller will set a diagnostic trouble code. Now, the interlock system, we talked about two different systems. This is the first of the two is called a high voltage cutoff HVCO system. It is an electrical system using conductors. It's using wires that detects when any high voltage circuit or component has been breached. If a breach has been detected by the controller, the controller is going to sing signal the battery controller to open the power relays and discharge the capacitors. Now, when we said it uses wires, we meant that. There's a wire running alongside the high voltage wires. It's the interlock wire. It's clear on the left and you gotta look really, really close on the right and you can see there's two wires going, high voltage wires going to that connector there. And on the left one, you can see a brown wire that's running alongside the orange. And of course, on the lower one or the right one, it's a kind of a white wire and difficult to see. But if that connector was disconnected, it would also disconnect those interlock system. And those two wires would tell the uh, controller that, hey, this connector's been breached and the controller would tell the battery controller to open the two power relays and discharge the capacitor. Now a local interlock system uses discrete switches that detects when any high voltage circuit or component has been breached. So it's more of a built-in type system. And if a breach has been detected, the controller is going to signal the communication bus and the battery controller opens the power relays and discharges the capacitors. They're just two different types of system doing the same thing. Here's a photograph of the local interlock system. You can see that we have a cover on the bottom that's been pulled off that inverter. And there's a switch on the cover and a female matching switch on the uh, inverter itself and the wires are going to the CAN bus and it signals the CAN bus when they've removed the uh, in this case inverter cover so the connectors have them the uh, electrical machines have them and it's going to tell 
the battery pack controller who's going to get information off the CAN bus to open the power relays and discharge the uh, capacitors. So the interlock circuits open when certain covers are removed, certain connectors are disconnected, if a collision is detected, the airbags deploy, if certain diagnostic trouble codes are set, the interlock circuit is going to open the power relays and discharge the capacitors. 